All right, YouTube. I am going to demonstrate today how I use shadow play and what shadow play exactly is. Um, first of all, in order to use shadow play, you need to be a PC player. And you need to, I'm sorry, for PC gaming and PC gamers who are using an NVIDIA graphics card, then shadow play is an option that you have as a video screen capture software that comes with a NVIDIA, NVIDIA software. So here you are looking at NVIDIA GeForce Experience. This is software um, produced by, and right now I got this little bit of shaky lag going on because I am recording with uh, Fraps, as you can see at the top left corner. All right, so now I never record with Fraps. Um, I'm only doing it because I cannot play with um, uh, the, the GeForce Experience or Shadow Play unless um, I'm not using it. So since I'm not using it, I can kind of show you guys how it works. So microphone always on, push to talk. Um, the shortcuts, you can place the position of your camera because uh, you can have your webcam live in there, your status indicator, like your recording, it's going to look like that. Um, of course, you got FPS on. Um, you have these options. And where are you going to save your folders? Mines are so saved on a secondary hard drive and shadow play and it names all the folders for you as well okay anyways so games <clears throat> and another you know thing with geforce experience is it will take it will find games that um, okay it's doing everything I don't want to do all right so games and it finds your games that are worthy of um, being optimized and things like that because my Black Ops does not show up in here. Just Black Ops 2 and Advanced Warfare are the only two games. So now I can launch the game right from here. And if there's any op like updates, like if, if I go into um, Call of Duty and I change the settings and then I come out of game and then I reboot the game or you know I, I open uh, uh, GeForce uh, uh, back up, eventually GeForce is going to find the settings and the changes that I've done and it's going to tell me, hey, we have some better uh, options for you. Try using these optimal settings. And it happens every time. So it's kind of a waste of time to go in there and try and change things yourself. I mean, you can certainly ignore it if you don't like it. But if you got like a 780 Ti like I have, then there's really no reason for you not to uh, just go with the optimal settings. None whatsoever. Because um, you don't really have to think about it. Driver updates are constant. You know, your rig, it kind of knows everything. LED visualizer, as you can see, GeForce uh, 690, 770, 780, and so on. Um, any reference uh, style card, um, you know, like an actual NVIDIA card, not a card that's made by um, Gigabyte, EVGA, um, Sapphire, things like that. So it actually says GeForce GTX in the green letters on the side. Um, that is so you can illuminate those letters and you can make them flash, you can make them breathe, you know, you got dual flashing, breathing, uh, random audio flashing. It will actually flash to audio. And I don't know if it will actually flash to my voice, but it is. Okay. So it is flashing to my voice. So as I speak, it is flashing. That's pretty cool. So any type of audio that runs through it, um, breathing is cool. So I'm going to leave it at that. So that's, that's what LED visualizer for. And then of course we have shadow play and when we open up shadow play. Here's what the deal is. We have our mode and I don't know why, I don't know if it's because we're recording, but here's what I'll do. I'll just shut it down and I will restart it. Um, what am I looking for? GeForce. Okay. 
So, <clears throat> when I record, and I open up, okay, so we got game optimization, game stream, uh, streaming games with your PC to NVIDIA Shield, uh, you can also stream to your TVs as well, but you need NVIDIA Shield and uh, a different network setup. So Shadow Play, <clears throat> let me see. All right, here we go. So we have our mode. Now we have Shadow and Manual together. We have Shadow by itself, and we have Manual by itself. And then, we, of course, we have Twitch. So you can broadcast live to Twitch. Can't beat it. Um, manual mode is what I use. So I just hit F9, toggles manual recording on and off, and saves it. And then Shadow F10 saves the last 20 minutes of recording. And then, of course, you got shadow and manual. Enable shadow and manual recording mode. So shadow and manual is, is, is really, uh, you know, a super safe bet. Um, let me see that. 20 minutes of recording. See, I like, to, I like to set my recording. See, I do, you know, game commentary. So it's more important for me to actually put down, you know, start recording at the beginning of a game and then end the recording at the end of a game. Whereas with shadow recording, if you leave it like that, what's going to happen is you're just going to play and you're not going to have to worry about anything. If anything amazing happens, if you go on some crazy kill streak or, you know, you have a crazy kill, whatever, you know, something just awesome happens. All you got to do is hit F10. Okay. F10 saves the last 20 minutes of recording. So shadow play is basically recording constantly in the background. And until you hit F10, and save it. That's it. It's just like that's all you have to do. When you get out of game, it does not save that footage. So until you hit F10, it then and only then will actually save it and write it to the hard drive. Otherwise, it's just recording. So it's kind of like a video camera that can record without a uh, memory card inside, without memory, but it's just recording. It's recording live. But once you shut the camera off, you know, nothing saved because there was no, it didn't, re, it couldn't save it to anything. You know what I mean? So that's how it operates. That's how it works. Great feature. You, you can't beat it. Okay. Shadow time. You can change the, the amount of time with this simple slider from 20 minutes down to one minute. I mean, for most people, you probably, you're good at like the last, what, minute, two minutes. If you're only looking for like, that crazy replay that just happened, but you never know. You could have went on a, a massive kill streak, right? And you know it started nine minutes ago, but why not? Just you know, twenty minutes, you know, seven point five gigs. It doesn't make sense not to. And again, it will not save anything to hard drive unless you hit F10. So you hit F10, you're all set. So for me, just to be, you know, I do manual. F9 on, F9 off, end of story. Quality, you can set low, medium, high, and custom. And for me, custom is 1080p, 60 frames. I mean, why would I choose 30 over 60, right? And, of course, your maximum bit rate is going to be 50. So that's where my custom is. Audio is in-game, in-game and microphone. And, of course, off. I do have in-game and microphone right now. However, I don't need it. Um, I figured if I did live commentaries, um, that'd be fine. But otherwise, in-game is perfectly fine as is. And that's it. That's your on and off switch. This is where your folders go. And it also creates, if you do a recording of a desktop, which I just did. Um, but I couldn't show you guys how it actually worked. So... All right, people. This Here's is a live recording. 2.5 gigs. Well, that's the. And I went to game. Okay, so now, GeForce Experience is where Shadowplay comes from. GeForce Experience is something you download, and it updates all your drivers. It takes care of your game stream, your game optimizations. Uh, it just it it's your like it's kind of watching over your computer and your game and your gaming habits and everything else and all that good stuff and then of course your shadow play and that's pretty much it and then of course you got camera status indicator fps counter 
So I have, yes, I have my F FPS counter on. If you're, you know, live streaming, medium, large uh, webcam, you can have your webcam in there. Allow desktop capture as well. Always on microphone, push to talk. Um, and, of course, th these are your hotkeys that you can set up. Um, so F9 for me is manual, F10 and F7, broadcasting on and off, pause broadcasting, toggle camera on off while broadcasting, which is your webcam, activate push to talk, and you can change all of these hotkeys. All you got to do is, you know, right click it and, you know, hit F3 and then, you know, change it to whatever you want. Um, I leave this one here alone because the standard in-game um, hotkey for push to talk is alt. So I'm probably not going to remember that that little asterisk or comma or apostrophe or whatever that is, symbol. Um, comma. Um, I'm not going to remember that, so I'll always hit alt and then people will just be... And then, of course, you set up your, your recording locations. Where do you want to record it at? I have mine on my secondary hard drive. Uh, D shadow play and then within shadow play itself it's going to make its own folders so if I go into black ops black ops just black ops it's going to automatically write a folder for me that says black ops if I start playing tomb raider it's going to make a folder called tomb raider I don't even have tomb raider and this is it people this is how you record um, with uh, shadow play and I don't know how it's going to work, but if I actually turn it on, all right, there it is recording right there at the bottom of the screen. Off. It show, shows you a little arrow pointing downward, meaning as it's downloading onto your hard drive. So it's on. It's off. Okay. Fraps definitely doesn't like that. So this is it. This is how you record. Um, this is how you use... Um, shadow play and then when you're done you just drag it all into Sony Vegas along with your audio which I will do right now and you'll be watching it and that's how you know I did it because you're watching it on YouTube hopefully you learned something I I hope you learned something and if you didn't like the video anyways no, but I'm just kidding. You can like it. You can dislike it. Leave me a negative comment, a positive comment. But most importantly, subscribe. This is your man, Kells. I'm out. I hope you were happy and learned something today. And if you did not know anything about Shadowplay, you should really, really know in depth again. And I think tomorrow I'm going to do a part two Shadowplay where I actually open up a game and I play a game and and go forward like that and um, not play the game but open the game play it open other you know different things and however at this moment i think you have a great understanding of shadow play and how it works hopefully you have an nvidia card and you can use it and that is my voice being recorded live as i speak all right people have a wonderful day remember to like comment subscribe